Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn to do something cool. We're going to create an isolated IP camera system. So what does it mean? Well, an isolated IP camera system means the whole camera system from the power supply equipment to the cameras, all this when the data goes in and goes to recording, the whole system is isolated and separated from our main network. There is, we won't affect anything with the main network and the main network cannot affect us as well. So how can this kind of isolated camera system benefit us? Well, imagine sometimes when there is internet fluctuations. Well, the fluctuations will cause, you know, sometimes uh, images to be blurry or lagging videos. They have to constantly be buffering and uploading. And when that happens, our isolated system will not be affected as, any, as well. It, the isolated system will run on its own internet system. So everything is like completely separated from the main network. Whatever happens over there, it's got nothing to do with us. Also, say someday our main network is attacked by a virus. And a virus will you know, start deleting all the data, the data packs, everything we have previously saved down on memory cards are all gone. But our isolated system will just like simply cut off the connection with the main system and the virus cannot harm all of our data. So it's pretty awesome. Also, if something happens to like, maybe we have a lot of IP cameras connected to the switch and suddenly during a point of moment at some time, we have a lot of data coming through one single port, then maybe our system right here will be a little bit laggy, but it will affect the main system as well. So it's like a, one, a very isolated environment here. So how can we create a system like that, so isolated, so independent? Well, we are going to use big box like this. This is a Drill Lens NVR. This is like any other recorder. We can record the video images from the IP cameras. But also, it has two Ethernet ports here. These two, one of it can connect with our main network. This is like the only pathway to have any access to our main uh, isolated system. So this is like the only way. And once we disconnect this port with our main network, our whole system will still keep on going on itself, but nothing can access the whole system. And this one, of course, is connected to our switch. So this port connects with our switch like this. After it connects these two, all our camera's data will be gathered at the switch, and the switch will then send it to the NVR and record it. Works like that. And if we, you know, disconnect this, this all the data will keep on going to NVR and record it because there's like, you can imagine there's two routers integrated in here. So even though one is disconnected, it's still a functioning system. So it's pretty cool. Keeps it very independent, not you know, relying on if it's connected to the main network or not. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a dual LANs network to make one of its isolated, independent. Well, first of all, you know, we just regularly connect all our IP devices, our, you know, our, camera, our IP security cameras, maybe some wireless access points or the IP phones, connect it all to here and connect it to this POE switch. And then, you know, we do the regular thing, connect the switch to the uh, this one, in this case, the dual lens NVR. And then after that, we connect this, this NVR to the screen and we can start setting up two of the IP addresses. I'll tell you guys right now how to do it. We can always change to the interface on our monitor. We're just gonna go see the network settings, right click on the screen, we choose menu, main menu, and then we go to system right here. After that, we choose a third network. Then we can see there are two IP addresses for us. This is because we have two net cards, which gives us two network interface controllers. This is because the two hardwares are integrated inside and now we can you know, access two different IP addresses. This is the main way we can use one to create a closed circuit network. With this closed circuit network, we can have different IP addresses and whenever anything happens, we just close the access to the main network and our other sub-network will be working alone, operating without any effect from the main network. 
it is really convenient and the security level will be really high because there are two independent network interfaces. All right, that's pretty much it for this. So this is just like any other MVR, although it has two network interface controllers that gives us the ability to create the virtual second network. All right, it was pretty cool, huh? So it's like we have two systems working right on here and they both won't interfere with each other, leave each other alone, it's really nice. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any more to ask, you can leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.